So this is my $1,200 straight bike. You know your BMWs and your numbers? 228i never came dual exit. Did have a single exit straight bike, cost of me $480. It was a resonated delete, which cost me around 100 and a muffler delete was which is 300, including the aftermarket tip that I chose. Me going dual exit completely changed everything. The diffuser itself was $300. Each tip costed me $225. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they're actually titanium four and a half inch exit. And they also have to use a custom white pipe. I'll be honest, like, I think the quality of the welds are really, really good for what it is because I've been in few muffler shops and man, I can't weld, but it was horrid. And in total for me to go dual exit was $740. This is my old muffler delete. And what ended up happening is, while everything was still attached, I cut the tip off. Thing is, all the fumes from the exhaust while the car was running and getting hot ended up trapping behind the rear bumper because guess what? I cut it past the heat shield and it melted all the clips. It melted my butter off and yeah, including my parking sensor. It was completely like the clip itself that was holding it, bang, melted. So right now it's held by double-sided tape. This is held by electrical tape, a bit of a panel gap, but honestly, it's nothing compared to the sound that I got out of it. I personally thought it would make no difference in sound, but man, I was wrong. I have a bit of drone, it's bassy, especially, guess what? It's louder as well. And man, I'm totally in love. I should have done it the first time. So if you want to go dual exit, you want to straight pipe your car, definitely do it. Also, the only downside I can think of is by far the call start. Um, they can get really obnoxious and loud because if your car is not tuned and you still have a factory catalytic converter, the cycle itself goes for around 30 seconds and it's just to warm up your cat. You can actually bypass it by pressing your gas pedal slightly, maybe just add 100 RPMs and somehow it actually changes.